Hello everyone, welcome back to the Yorkscast. Today we're going to be playing Disney's Lorcana, the highly anticipated new expansion which is called Into the Inklands. There's a link in the description. Uh, this is a very well-designed strategy card game. Mm. Many mm. of you will have played this before. Mm. These two haven't. Brian and Mark have not played before, so... Fresh. We've got the starter decks. We've got some puppies for you to play, Bryony. Oh, we got some... Scottish ducks. <laughs> I was going to say dragons. <laughs> yeah, but, um... maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe those as well, but mainly Scottish ducks. <laughs> of course. The, the real heroes of the deck, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> I've played the game quite a bit, actually, and I think Ben has as well. So we're going to be coaching you and helping you. We're going we're gonna to do a little bit deck building at the start, mm -hmm. and then um, we'll share our knowledge and, and hopefully... Win the day. Win the day. You've got Team Liony and Team Bark. Bark. <laughs> yeah, no, but they've got, oh, the they got the Dalmatians. They've got the Dalmatians out. Oh, no. It's oh, very fitting. We'll have to be men. <laughs> team men. I like that. Team yeah. men. Team men. Team Scottish duck men. men. Yeah. No, it's really exciting because Lorcana, I've been following Lorcana for a while, but I've not mm. played it because mm. I love Disney. I love TCGs like card collectible card games, but mm. also the artwork is so good. Like it's mm. like you know that's the thing with card games, isn't it? It's like the art yeah, what sucks you in, in. exactly. Mm. So yeah, really excited to play and check it out. Yeah. yeah, it's that feeling of like every time you see a new card, getting excited even though you don't know what it does yet. You're still just like, oh, oh I, I know that, that song. It's a yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, it's one jump ahead. I know that song. You know, yeah, exactly. Uh, so we started off with the two starter decks. We got the amber and emerald deck. Yep. It was Puppies and Peter Pan. <gasps> oh my gosh. So, shiny Pongo. each Pongo. <laughs> starter deck comes with two foils. These are obviously important cards in your deck. None of this card text is going to mean much to you at this point. Good boy. Okay, <laughs> I understand that. That is good. <laughs> Does it really say Does it No, it says that? Determined Father. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's implied though. <laughs> And we got... Uh, Your starter deck is Ruby and Sapphire. That's right, Ruby and Sapphire, red mm -hmm. and blue. And we had uh, Moana. A lot yeah. of our kind of like red theme was around Moana and Maui and voyages yeah. and things Loads like of that. boat stuff. Boat stuff, pirates. Mm -hmm. And then we also had uh, Scrooge, McDuck. Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge McDuck from DuckTales. <laughs> his blur of nephews. And his blur, his mold, many, many nephews <laughs> and nieces <laughs> and daughters and friends. Distant and, Scottish relations. Yeah. There are the three nephews. The three nephews. Hugh, Dewey, and Louis. If you get them all down at the same time, Time, yeah, they draw you three cards. Oh, amazing! Oh, they're cool. always up to trouble. They're always scampering. And if you can remember which one's which, you automatically win the game. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> okay, that's nice. It's never been done. So, oh, yeah. see what well, you we've got, got Moana. Uh, Moana, make way, make way. So the other thing that is in this game that we haven't talked about a little bit is songs. Mm. Now, songs are a specific kind of card yeah. that you can play for the normal ink cost or you can get characters to sing them. <laughs> and so yes. instead of going on a quest, they sing, and it's a really big mechanic in the game. Yeah. So most of your decks will have some songs in them. I'll make a man out of you. <laughs> <laughs> right. with, my, with my training. Yeah, yeah. The strength of a raging fire. That's it, that's the name of it. You're going to be the Donny Osmond to Bryony's Mulan. That's how it's going to work. That's the yeah. plan. Yeah. So each of the starter decks has a booster pack mm. in it. Another one would be fun if we opened it up and saw if there was anything good that would fit into your decks. More puppies. Yeah. More puppies. <laughs> just, also just love awesome. opening booster packs. It's the yes, best, isn't it? It's the best bit. You never know what you're going to get. Tinkerbell. Oh! <laughs> oh, you guys were both talking about Tinkerbell. That's so cute. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we can probably we can we can put that in. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Pizza. Oh, oh, Stitch! Stitch! And he's green as well, so you can you use can him. Stitch. And finally, Oh no! Oh no! It's an action, but it's shiny, but it's hook. Oh! Oh! oh he's dead. <laughs> What's it called? No. It is called On Your Feet Now. Ready all your characters and deal one damage to each of them. They can't quest for the rest of this turn. So it means you could you could quest with all your characters, play On Your Feet Now, damage them all, but then they get up again, and then they can go off and challenge. So you can oh. kind of have two goes with all of your characters, but take a damage for, this, pretty good. for pushing them too hard. Let's not use that. Let's use this one instead. Maleficent. Whoa! Whoa! The monstrous dragon. This is why I bought these. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's well, that's shiny. Epic. It's a giant dragon. It costs nine. Oh, good. And it's a foil me. as well. Just put, oh, that, put that in there, Brian. It's a but red I... card. That's a red card. <laughs> don't, don't lick it. <laughs> Like, like, like you oh, have. I'm in. 
Maybe you can trade. trade. Maybe we can get something. You're gonna have to get something pretty good. No, 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 no. What I have to get, Lewis, is a character that Briny loves. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could have a common, but that if Briny's like, oh, I love that one, I'll be like, yeah. I would it. never challenge them. So we were thinking, this is a trading card game, of course. We might be able to trade it away with something. If we got something good in ours, um, and you know, we did, in fact. We, in fact, got a legendary Kida from Atlantis, a very, very cool Disney movie, uh, which fitted very well in with what Bryony wanted. So a little, a little swap <laughs> a little, little trade, trade perhaps? <laughs> oh, gold! Ooh. That's like a legendary, right? Ooh, yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. These are the rarest type. Yeah. Do you know why, Lewis? Because we believe. <laughs> yeah. We believe oh, in Disney magic. You're pure of heart. Pure, pure of heart. <laughs> <laughs> you You'll get, get the card. <laughs> um, but this is sadly, it's an orange, so I can't use it, but Brian, you sure can. Mm. You can I, use. I we should trade. We can, we can trade. Okay. Can trade. So you've both got a legendary you can use now. Oh, oh my god, it's like a prisoner exchange. <laughs> <This is> a... <laughs> you were both so wary. You know this is what? such a good card. Franny, you can have these ones as well. Wait. I know that you like, really like Miss Bianca, and then there's the snake to go with your Robin Hood. And You're stuff. giving oh, us some. Thank of... you. Yeah. Franny, do you want to give him uh, our Moana? Our cup, Don't cup, want it. Two copies of Moana. Don't want it. I have plenty of Moanas. I've got I've got three copies of that same card, so I can't use them, unfortunately. Yeah. But that's all right. You can have them. So what tweaks are you making to your I, deck? We're going to put a dragon in. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, I love, and the Jolly Roger, I, I think. I love the quote on this dragon. It says, uh, the ninth rule of villainy, when all else fails, turn into a dragon. That's very true. <laughs> that's very true. I do like that. Dragon for goddess? Absolutely. <laughs> well, it's perfect for us because there's a mechanic in this game where you can play sort of a low-cost version of, mm. of Kida, and then later mm. on, the bigger version can play on top of them for cheaper. Yeah. And so it's a quick way to get powerful characters out. Yeah, yeah, and I'd yeah. seen that I had Kida in my deck, so I knew that that was perfect. something... So we were trying not to be too excited about seeing that. I just wanted the dragon. I just like, give me, it didn't fit, I, I just wanted a dragon. Give me, give me the dragon. I need it. It's a, it's a bomb though. I mean, yeah. that Maleficent is like nine ink, yeah. like super powerful yeah, you're not, cards. Not getting that till deep into the game. Yeah, seven strength, like can mm. banish a character right away as soon as you play them. It's very, very cool. It's like cool. a game winning yeah, card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really very, strong. very cool. So, so Bryony decided to basically take out anyone not cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Any, anyone From the starter meme deck. got replaced by little cuties. Mm -hmm. Either a puppy or a little beautiful boy. <laughs> I think Fairy. that makes sense. When, when you're first starting out in a game, you don't know what's good and what's bad. You you know you might not even know exactly how things work. So yeah, just go with the cards you like, play a couple of games, yeah. and then see what's no, good. Ben. Learn what's good through <laughs> playing. I think we're on the we were teaching the wrong people. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to make that deck as strong as possible, get the best cards in it, have it all perfectly in synchronized with each other, and then win. I don't care if that's a mean man with a scowl. <laughs> He's very efficient. Well, also, Disney villains are one of the best bits of the movies. Like, who doesn't mm. love Jafar and Ursula and... Scar. Scar. He's great. Is it Count Rolo or the, the guy from Hunchback and Notre Dame? Captain Hook. Captain Hook. Oh. Like, the villains are just as good as the heroes. So mm. I like the fact that you can have both and lean into yeah. it. Like, I, I, I think that's cool. Now, maybe I should keep some people I... Because the, these are... They're naughty boys. Horus. But maybe boy. I should turn him into ink, so maybe he should be kept around. Uh, and Jasper. <laughs> Is that how it's going to work? All of the villains, you're going to turn into ink. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that the idea of Lorcana is to ink all of the bad characters. <laughs> <laughs> But keep all the good ones. <laughs> Although I like that philosophy. Oh, yeah. I think that's very, very briny, I think. <laughs> You've done a very briny thing here, Briny. I'll tell you what, though, like, we should probably explain ink, what you were saying there. Um, this is a great mechanic in the game that I've mm. not seen before. Um, all of your cards cost a resource ink to play, and every turn you can use one of your cards to put into your ink well, and that generates ink for the rest of the game. So you're never short on resources, yeah. but you have to make a tough choice. This card that I like, do I, do I want to use it as ink or do I want to play it? Yeah. And um, it's great. And there are some cards which can't be turned into ink as well. So mm. sometimes you don't get a choice. They're just, you need to play them, use them or whatever as yeah. well. So. so we also looked at some of the new locations. Mm. Yes. These are special cards that just come out in this and they are like cool destinations. Like there's a Captain Hook's boat. Yeah, the Jolly Roger. You yeah. got the, the, the pirate ship. I think like you had like Neverland, yeah. Agrabah, all the all the famous places from the Disney mm -hmm. movies, right? Yeah. You've got all the actual. Moana's cool, Island was in Moana's there. Moana's Island. Yeah, you've got all these cool places. Deville's Mansion. I think we had yeah. that actually, yeah. but. Ended Bryony up. didn't want to go there. I think that was, <laughs> you had it. I think that was something we were taking out. Yeah, I think <laughs> it might have very swiftly been removed from Bryony's deck. So it was time to begin. 
Mm. And we had to we had to work out who was going to go first. You you guys came up with a pretty clever idea for this, I thought. Well, uh, more fun than flipping a coin, I think. Yeah, a lot more fun than flipping a coin. So I think we're ready to go. Mm. Yes. We've got a law counter. This is the official Disney Lorcana app. Uh, to, to keep track of that. I've got some little life counters um, to show if anyone gets challenged and loses some of their willpower. We've got, we've unsleeved the two legendary cards you yes. got and shuffled them in. Now, just because there's a shine on the camera, um, yeah. I would allow this just yeah. for this one. <laughs> we will, and then we after will the game. Straight in the sleeve. <laughs> straight in the sleeve, we will resleeve them. We're in our best behavior. Yes, exactly. And like, I've, I've made sure my fingies are nice and clean. Oh. They're all good. You so licked them all clean this morning. <laughs> you licked them all clean. <laughs> No dirt, nothing. That's what the Dalmatians have been doing for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so you've both drawn seven cards, you've mulliganed. Yes. And uh, you're happy with your starting hands. Mm, well, we have so. to decide who goes first. Yeah. Who most recently watched a Disney movie? Well, I think about two months ago I watched Hercules for the first time. For the first mm. time, for the first wow. Time. Can I you think beat that? I can because I watched Atlantis uh, just recently. I watched it a week ago. Oh wow! So yeah, it's gonna be. I'm the first, I'm the the latest to watch a Disney movie. I think. Okay. Well, I'll say then. Be our guest. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Mark, you go first. Yes. So we go first. Mm -hmm. We put some our first ink down. Yep. Didn't have any other cards to play, which mm. Ben, my coach very tactfully pointed out to me. Uh, yeah, so it's a one cast. It's the only card you can play. But yeah, and it will get us in the game. <laughs> so Ben's suggesting you play the only card you can play. Yes, <laughs> yeah. This is a deep strategy. Oh, well, I just want to but check here. Also, this card cannot be used as ink. Yes, So there's exactly. literally no, there's nothing no else you can do with it. So we're going to get our Jolly Roger, the card that we put in from our booster pack. We're going to get our Jolly Ooh, Roger down. That's as great. A location. It's a really powerful location, but it doesn't generate any lore. No, unfortunately yeah. not. But we're going to keep it in there because hopefully maybe we can get some uh, little uh, coconut pirates. Coconut pirates! Coconut pirates! They're speedy now. Yeah, get them in. So great. That's so, really early pressure. Mm. Bryony now has to be constantly worried that little coconut boys might fly at her at any moment without warning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was something we had a gamble on, actually. I you do draw a card. So I get. Oh. And it's not a puppy, though. <laughs> What a poker oh, face! Right. <laughs> uh, now, of course, you can't be challenged if you're not if you don't do anything. Yeah. You don't exert. Mm -hmm. So, Bryony was quite safe to play Keener out on turn one. Oh, from Atlantis. Nice. Uh, yes, Keener Atlantean. So mm -hmm. I cannot quest on this turn, but mm. you know, next turn. Wow, she's great. She's got two strength and two will for only one ink. Yeah, very good early card. Yeah, and then uh, a point on board as well. But also knowing that you can then shift them right into that more evolved form later on. So mm. good to get them out and have them ready to go. Yeah, yeah knowing that that is in our deck somewhere yeah. is really cool. Because that was our special card. Yeah, you know, mm. That's not in the start set. Yeah. Mm. So on our turn two, we mm. needed to get a character out. We, yeah. we had nobody in the field. Mm -hmm. So uh, the but the only one we could was summon Simba. Mm -hmm. um, he's a little weak on the willpower and on his strength, but three lore wow. if we can quest with him. OK, yeah, if you can get a quest off, that's big. Because first to twenty law wins. He so just threes a lot. He just can't wait to be king. So, <laughs> and we also got some more ink down as always, mm. trying to get as much ink in the inkwell as possible. But yeah, that was it for us. Yeah, cards like Simba are really good because there's certain cards that have bodyguard. Mm. Uh, we actually had one in our deck. We didn't use it in the end. No. Um, and they act like a kind of blocker, like a taunt. Mm. So you oh, have to great. attack them first. Oh yeah, great for a card like Simba that is like just generating you a lot of law each turn. Mm. That's cool. Our turn two. Uh, got another ink down. Decided to go on the first quest. Ooh, get that first lore of the game. I can now use both of these mm -hmm. to get out my first puppy. Oh, <laughs> puppy! Puppy time! <laughs> which one is it? It's the one which Bryony has Dalmatian. a lot of. Yeah, it's Kale just Wagga. Dalmatian. <laughs> So this is the one you can have 99 copies of in your deck. I love that special rule. Such a good rule. <laughs> so funny. Really funny. He's a sleepy boy, um, so he's just gonna sit here for this turn. But I am gonna, I am gonna quest mm. with Kida, so I'm gonna get my first. First lore. Oh, lore. One for Briny. Now, this is when Briny started doing her own thing without <laughs> consulting. <laughs> oh my god, how dare she? The team is breaking down. <laughs> <laughs> it was my advice, because you had the pirate ship, mm. that I thought you could just land a pirate and kill Kida, then we wouldn't be able to use her shift ability. Mm. And so I was saying, don't quest, Briny, don't get the lore. Briny was like, 
I bet they don't have a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, sometimes you've just got to risk it all and believe, right? You've just got to believe that you're going to get what you want. Well, yeah. also, coconut, you know, coconut versus poppy, they're ball shapes. That's no trouble at all. <laughs> I'm not sure that's coconut how it works. plays with puppy. <laughs> right, I see, okay. So there's, so, so we're, we're doing great. We've got two characters, decent mm. characters. We've got one law. You've got a boat and a, and a little lion cub. A little mm. lion cub, yeah. Right, so it's our turn three. Turn three. We need to get some, some action going. Got more ink down. Mm -hmm. But then use our ink to summon the first of our three nephews. Hooray! It's one of Scrooge McDuck's. We've got Huey out. We ne we just got to hope that we can get Louie and Dewey. Yeah. And then we can get some extra draws and things like that. Um, so he has the support ability. So if I do quest with him, he gets to add his strength to another character. Um, but then also if we can get the other nephews, then uh, we get to draw a bunch of cards. So okay. I think that could be a really fun one. Build up your duck blur. This time we've got Simba. I thought that there's no way Simba's gonna last long. Like I don't no. think we're gonna be able to like get a bodyguard or anything out. Probably gonna get banished. So let's get those points in early. Bank those points. Quest with Simba, mm -hmm. get three lore on, on the scoreboard. He can't wait to be king. And we're just gonna net ourselves. Yes. One, two, three. That makes sense. He's not gonna hold back. He's not gonna hold back. <laughs> he's he's a rambunctious little scamp, you know. And look, Brian's gamble paid off because we did not have a coconut pirate to throw at you. <laughs> no coconut pirate, sadly. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the uh, the big risky play that you advised against did pay off. Yeah, the, you took the risk and you won. <laughs> and <laughs> somehow you drew Kida, which I can't believe either. So we did have it in our hand. And so Bryony looked at me and was like, do I play this now? <laughs> and I was like, this is your best chance to play this. I did listen to Lewis's advice on this one. I'm going to challenge Simba with my little tail wagger. Yeah. Oh. So he will, you know, he'll, he'll be a little bit tuckered out from that, but I Can, think yep. it's worth it, it to sense. say, now see here. <laughs> now see here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Simon, is your dog chasing the cat? Is yeah. this is what's happening. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. A little well, unfortunately, Tail is time. <laughs> only one, only one willpower, so that's immediately banished. banished. So yeah, put them in my discard a pile. Cat. So you did the right thing, and you you challenged my Simba first, yeah. banished them, then got out Goddess Kida, super super cool mode, uh, ready for future turns. It's actually a super powerful card in the late game anyway, mm. because you know what it does is it lets you do all your questing, and then you play Kida. And they can't challenge, can't challenge any you your, your guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you really have to have strong. something really strong to be able to do anything, right? But yeah, yeah, very good, very smart. He does hit back. Mm -hmm. so yes, he does. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I forget that it's simultaneous, isn't it? The damage. Mm. So. But that leaves me with my three ink, mm -hmm. with which to shift Kida into the protector oh, of the Atlantis. Big legendary Ooh. four. It went to our turn four, uh, drew cards again, getting that ink down. We've only got Huey out and exerting all of that ink. Mm -hmm. uh, I get out a character that probably I don't think any of us had ever heard of before. I didn't remember him. I, I, didn't, I, I vaguely remem remembered him, but Flint Heart Glomgold. <laughs> Sorry, were those words? Yeah, Flint Heart Glomgold. Uh, nobody tells Flint Heart Glomgold what to do. <laughs> Who is Scrooge McDuck's like rival, like, yeah. like treasure hunter, I think. You promised me those are words, not yeah. just noises you're making. Flint Heart Glomgold. <laughs> okay. I did pronounce Flint Heart Glomgold. Gold, um, who's this great kilt wearing, you know, big, big treasure hunting big duck. Big angry Scottish duck. Big angry Scottish duck. And he comes out and he's got an ability which means he can challenge evasive characters. Mm. But because we've just uh, brought him forward, can't do anything with him. Yeah, we've got to wait a turn. So, and also that meant I didn't want to do anything with Huey because mm -hmm. Huey has a really great ability where when he quests, he adds two strength to another character. So mm -hmm. I wanted to bide my time and make sure we yeah. timed that well. If you use Huey now, a puppy would come and chase him off. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Can't be doing that. You've got to wait till he's ready. Yeah. So for our turn four, got out a second puppy. No, no. A very no. intimidating puppy. <laughs> Here, all, all the puppies are coming out now. Oh, you should be scared, because I'm going to get a plan. out. I've got a plan. An intimidating <laughs> pup. Oh, oh I'm getting out, Patch. <laughs> but of course, when a puppy first runs out, they're too sleepy to do anything. So we relied on the other puppy and Kida to take down your Jolly Roger. Yeah, and there's nothing I can do, because locations, they can just so, Yeah, they can't defend themselves. So yep. um, 
This is really cool, though. Like the Atlantean Guardian <laughs> just <laughs> sinks the pirate ship. Yeah, sinks the pirate ship. That is trying to like invade Atlantis with a little puppy. With a puppy friend. With a little puppy friend. <laughs> teamwork. Yeah, teamwork. Nothing I can do about so it. So this is one of the nicest things about Disney Lorcana is in order to you know do things, you have to use your characters. So you're either going to quest or you're going to challenge. And that does mean that, you know, Mark can now challenge your characters. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, it does have to be this back and yeah. forth. This, this honestly really well designed. But you yeah. wouldn't challenge your puppy. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out where, I mean, Flintheart Glomgold, he seems the kind of guy that would challenge a puppy. But, yeah, I mean, but... if he's willing to cheat, are you <laughs> pivoting into the bad guy? L Lewis, <laughs> I mean, I'm always prepared to be the bad it's, guy. It's hard not to be the bad guy when you're seeking to defeat puppies. Yeah, yeah. At this point, <laughs> I think... I you kind of have to lean into it. Yeah. Yeah. You never got to use it. No pirates were flung at you. We didn't it get was, any it was, it was an, I didn't think you were going to do it. Because I thought, <laughs> again, I said, you could just quest here and get some lore because we needed to catch up. Mm. But actually, Bryony was like, no, I, I think we should just run them at the ship. <laughs> And I said, okay. Okay. <laughs> and then on turn five, it paid off because what did we draw? A coconut. Oh, a coconut <laughs> pirate. Too late. Too it late. One, sunk. One turn too late. Can't use him properly now. Can't, you know, use the special rule to like, no. you know, bring him out and then immediately challenge. Um, so I wanted to keep building up ink this turn yeah. because we've secretly got a very expensive card in our hand that needs a lot of ink. But this coconut, not only is he too late for his boat, he can't even be ink. It's one of the rare few that can't be turned into <laughs> ink. So we had to make the best of what we had. Mm. So what I did is I quested with Huey, uh, which gave me some lore, but also gave that plus two mm. uh, strength to Flint Glomgold, uh, who then challenged your goddess Kida. One angry Scottish duck versus <laughs> the goddess of Atlantis. Who wins? Turns out, if, as long as he's powered up by a young duck. <laughs> yeah, as long as, you know, he's got a little smaller duck <laughs> to power him up. You can take down anybody. <laughs> Quest with Huey, which so will score me one law. So you're four lore. now, four, four against one. But then it also makes Flynn Glomgold five strength against, and I'm going to challenge Kida. It's uh, a good move. Yeah, that's. I think it's all I can do. I've got to, got to remove some of these, uh, mm. some of these you get powerful Yeah, Kida. Yeah, of course. Uh, your duck takes three damage. Oh, that's true. He's only got one willpower left. And then I think, yeah, I will just, I'll spend the last three ink, and we will get uh, a, a Kakamora. On the table because I, mean, oh, I, I can't see. do anything else with him. You can't use him as ink. You can't use him as ink. Can't use oh, him as ink. No. But he's there. And also, when I play this character, each opponent loses one law. So that one law that you've got, Bryony, I'm no. afraid I'm taking it away. <laughs> 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 We're stealing, stealing oh, your law. Uh, <laughs> so that's four zero. Our turn five. We weren't going to let that stand. We had to <laughs> rile the puppies up. We had a little barky puppy saying, "Go, go, go, get that duck." <laughs> <laughs> Puffy versus ducks now. Yeah. <laughs> He's only a little duck. He's a young duck. So he was quite scared by your barking pup. So you've got the real choice because obviously Patch does reduce their strength and makes it easier for you to keep your guys alive. But he can challenge on his own and do three three strengths, you know, in a challenge. So, so what you're asking is, is his bark as bad as his bite? <laughs> <laughs> Very well done. Very well done, Brian. If I could give you law points for that, I absolutely <laughs> would. Yeah. I think you're right. The, I think go with the plan. Take out Huey. It's the okay. right. It's the I'm, right option. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. Uncle oh, Scrooge, <laughs> oh, please. So he gets exerted, book, and then book, book. I will challenge. Yep. With my little guy. And my strength is now zero because you do minus two. He's got two yeah. strengths, so Huey yeah, is banished. Huey is banished. It's a very good play. <laughs> it is expensive, you know, if we had used those guys to quest, that's three lore, but yeah. we felt that it was worth it to take out Huey, partly because the strength of the Huey is that he's supporting the other people, making them really strong. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And you wanted to play a character. This one could be good because of... I think that's what you should do. Okay, I'm going to exert all of this ink. I'm going to get out Tinkerbell. Oh. oh! Generous fairy. Which meant that I could look at the top four mm. uh, cards of my deck, which is called Making a Friend. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wholesome! What friend did you make? Oh, Stitch! I love him! <laughs> which Little. Stitch is he? 
Uh, it is Stitch Covert Agent. Oh, Ooh. Secret Agent Stitch. I love it. I can't imagine anything more chaotic than Tinkerbell covering Stitch in like fairy dust and making him fly. Yeah. This well, is a recipe for disaster. But he only has happy thoughts. He loves destruction. He loves causing chaos. He's going to be having a whale of a time and now he can fly. He's going to thrive amongst puppies as well. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. We're going to get into a feedback loop. Uh, so this is our turn six. Yeah, we're ahead on law. But we're losing board control. Yeah, we need to we need to do something about all these pups that are coming out. Mm -hmm. um, and I think this is the time to embrace the inner villain. <laughs> you, it's you've been looking for an excuse to make your <laughs> heel listen. Turn here. Flint Heart Blonde Gold. He's a villain. He's done some great work. Okay. I think that's the way forward. Okay. So this is the turn. We're up to five ink. Mm -hmm. Use all of it. Ah, you and your little puppies, eh? No! <laughs> Five points of ink to burn them with dragon fire. And we're going to banish little patches because I'm sick. Little puppy. No, little, puppy. little puppy. We're going to banish Hosted you. puppies. We see a shadow <laughs> flying overhead, the big shape of the scary dragon. <laughs> How can you not be a villain trying to burn puppies? <laughs> uh, this is where I'd have my big villain song. But then we, not only that, but then we have our little coconut pirate. We use that mm. to challenge and, and banish as well. And then that leaves us with Flint Heart Glomgold, who we use just to get some lore because we didn't think he was going to be very long for, for this adventure. <laughs> no, he's off getting us a quest. So yeah. we're now on six lore. Yeah. So it's a good lead. You've only got Tinkerbell left, but we've only got a duck on one will left. <laughs> yeah. But mm. I'm sure Patch is okay. I'm sure he just got a little singed tail and, and, and ran away. Yeah, they get banished. Yeah, exactly. Just a little hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we couldn't stand for this. We have to do something. <laughs> we need a hero. Well, Briny, <laughs> unlike Mark, who's not been able to put ink into his inkwell every turn, we have. Yeah. We're now at six ink. So you played a location. Yep, had our first location out. We had Neverland. Mmm. And you played the card you drew last turn. We got a Stitch. Stitch! Oh, goodness me. Does he have an effect that I need to worry about? Not straight away. Oh. Well, so he's uh, evasive. He is evasive. Okay. Mm. Which means that you can't challenge him unless you have evasive. Mm. But then, once he gets into a location, mm. he gets war, which means he can't be targeted by other spells. Oh. So Stitch can be completely sleeping. immune questing every turn yeah. if you can get him on a location. I will use my final ink to bring out Neverland. Oh. It's a location. Oh. So hang on, let me get this. So you've basically got Tinkerbell taking Stitch to Neverland at some point in the future. That is a recipe for disaster. I don't think that's a very good idea at all. Yeah, I know. You'll yeah, never get old. Yeah, oh God, no. <laughs> Be young and excitable forever. forever. Captain Hook's in for a real rough time, I'll tell you that. Captain Hook's in for a rough time. And also, it was time to challenge. Oh, sorry. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Flint Heart Glomgold. It does mean you take, are going to take three damage. I do take Tinkerbell, this from him. But I banish <laughs> but my. But he's gone. And I don't have to worry. Anymore. That was a very good move. We got nothing on the board now. We've got nothing. It's just empty. It's an open, open field. Mm. Yeah. It came out really well for us. We also noticed that Flint Heart Glongold, <laughs> Flint Heart Glongold, <laughs> can take out evasive characters. Yeah. And that's the main thing that Stitch has got going for him. Yep. He's evasive, which means he can't be challenged by. Unless other people are very smart. Yeah, so you so had to get rid of that little duck. Guy. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, he can fly now. It's hard to pin down. Now, the second advantage of Stitch is that when he's at a location and you can pay one to send him to Neverland, yeah. he's immune to being dragon fired and yeah. all other things. Yeah. Yeah. So, not only is he evasive, but he's also immune. He's got war. Can't be targeted. He's so, like hiding in the bushes and the trees, flying around, you know, causing. He's not just in the palm trees. <laughs> he is the, the palm trees. trees. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, our plan is to set up Stitch in, these, in this little wood and have him just quest away every turn, ticking up and up and up. Yeah. Turn seven, mm. probably. A bit of a disaster. Like whilst we've done a lot of work the previous yeah. turn, draw a card. All we can do is turn because we don't have Huey anymore or nope. Louie or I can't remember which one it was. But we got Dewey and we can <laughs> use him. So we just had to turn him into ink. Well, we could have used him, but we had another expensive card we'd rather we save really up. Really want to get that card out, and yeah. we weren't going to get the benefit of having all three. Having a like a low level, low stat duck isn't going to save us. But maybe if we can save up 
for the big card. Yes. That so save us. get some more ink down. But that was it. That's all we could do. Basically giving you a, a free turn to do whatever you like. Yeah. yeah. Well, Mark, you had like an, an, a, a strange strategy. <laughs> <laughs> because first you're not putting stuff in your inkwell. And then you're suddenly like, oh, quickly, we need to put stuff in the inkwell. But you have to ramp up slowly, right? Yeah. Um, so we had no choice but to... I think play out our two remaining cards. Wow. So Briny, immediately at the start of your turn, you can draw the card, but you get one law. Because Neverland gives you a law at the start of the turn. Oh, one immediate law. Mm. Okay. This might be controversial. I'm gonna spend four, yeah. and I'm gonna get everything else. Oh, <laughs> oh Because okay. I need to catch up on questing. So I have another tail wagging Dalmatian puppy, and I've got Wendy Darling, the talented okay. sailor. Mm. And I'm going to quest with both of these wow. for three laws. Yeah, of course. Catching up. It's yeah, that's six it. to four now. I'm spending an ink and stitches so he's hiding. He's really tough to get rid of now. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's got evasive and, and I can't ward. target him with effects. So yeah. the only way you can do it is to get another evasive. character with evasive. Yeah. Tinkerbell and Stitch, what a team. What a team. <laughs> the gruesome twosome. Yeah. And your location, Neverland, just gives you a law every turn as well. So you've got another law on top of that as mm, well. So you're now you're up to up. four. Yeah, going from zero up to four felt we're finally getting there. We're on track. <laughs> but our board was looking so strong. Yeah, yeah we, we're in the opposite situation. Yeah, yeah. Any <laughs> card we draw has to go in the ink to, to save up. <laughs> I, have, I have gone full Maleficent villain. I'm mad with power. I'm like, more no, power! More power! <laughs> uh, for turn eight, we did get quite lucky. We got a character this time. Mm. And rather than just immediately turning it into a ink. <laughs> Which I was tempted to do. It was tempted to do, but this was uh, Grammar. Uh, from Moana. Yeah. Um, so we got her out and she gives you an ability where I could take the top two cards, put one into my hand, put the one, the next one on the bottom, which meant that we got a free ink anyway. So we got yeah. to get grammar out and we also got some ink in the mm -hmm. pile as well. We're nearly there. We're nearly yeah, there, no, man. No, no, no. Soon, soon. <laughs> one more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're on eight ink. Meanwhile, I didn't have any cards, but of course, draw one and found lovely Peter Pan. So just got oh. him straight to Neverland. That's where he, that's where he belongs. That's where he lives. <laughs> Wait, so now you've got Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, and Stitch, <laughs> puppies, and Wendy. Basically, the whole Neverland crew are there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And just quested with everyone. And because Peter Pan has the ability that when he's in a location, he mm. gets that location's law. <gasps> so bad. Okay, so we wow. have that. Wow. The law's tied six up. All. And then I'm going to quest with everyone. Wow. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six getting out of control. So it's you're on 12. Doubled my law. <gasps> This is, this is tough. Over wow. halfway now. We were winning before, Mark. I know. Where did it all go wrong? I feel like we really have become the villains because this is the point in the story where we all start going wrong. <laughs> oh, no, we got that early lead. Yeah. And we chased off all the puppies. I know. And now it's all going wrong. Now Peter Pan and his friends are ruining the day. <laughs> oh, terrible. It's all right, though. We just need one more turn after this and we can play the big one. One more turn. So mm -hmm. what we need to do is minimize the amount of lore mm -hmm. that Bryony can score. So we have Grammar Tower. Mm -hmm. Just challenge uh, Wendy, darling, because that was the most lore she had that she could score two. Yeah. How banished. Did, how did that challenge go down? Did, did Grandma just like tell her off and send yeah, her home? Yeah, I think back so. To bed early? You know, I think you know Grandma in Moana. She's very clever. She's very wise. She gave her like sneaky. a scolding. Yeah, yeah. And sort of like saw off. Maybe chased her off with like a sandal or something like that. <laughs> threw it at, threw it at Wendy Darling's head. Um, you know, scared her off, banished her. But that was really it. Like mm. and, but that's a good move though, because she could make a lot of law. Exactly. So get that out of the way. Yeah, two law is a big deal. So we got that out of the way. But ne next turn, next turns the turn. Next turns the turn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe. It, nine is a lot of lore. <laughs> yeah. It turns out getting to nine inked cards is yeah. take, especially if you've missed a turn of doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So you were sort of behind. I blame that coconut. I blame that coconut. He wouldn't too. turn into ink. Yeah. It slowed us down. <laughs> we begged him to turn into ink. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't. Just wouldn't do it. He's just like, no, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so straight away. Get yes, the, uh, Neverland, Neverland Law. Neverland, Neverland has been really making ba mm. bank for us. It's Ooh. doing good. Those locations are really good for that. Drawing a card. Oh. Uh, you can sing a song, Bryony. Oh. <gasps> we should probably play the game first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is Disney if not 
the songs. It was time to sing a song. And yeah, who better half. to sing it than a little puppy? No. <laughs> sing the song of oh, this people. <laughs> so yeah, some of the songs that you some of the cards in, in the deck of songs and, and if you want you can pay your ink to cast them, but you can instead exert your characters instead of mm. having them go questing. I advised Bryony, I was like, we you should just quest and, and pay <laughs> And pay the the ink for this song. And they're like, puppy singing the song, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> you want the puppy to sing the song? I want the puppy to. I mean, it sounds beautiful, but it's probably like. <laughs> what song is it? What song is it? Strike a good match. Strike a good match from Mulan. Yeah, mm. yeah. A little lesser known. So I am. So you don't have to spend the ink. You can just use the puppy instead of getting one law. You see, oh. or you could. Oh, because he's. Oh, okay, I see. Or, do you see what I'm saying? So you yeah. can either get one law. Which will put you close to victory, mm. or you risk it all because you might get a really good card. I'm gonna risk it all. I'm gonna have good the choice. puppy sing the song. I'm drawing two cards. <laughs> oh. You have to exert the puppy to do you that. You do. Yeah, it's okay. tiring. It's very it's tiring. tiring. <laughs> yeah, singing <laughs> songs is, is a lot of work. Ooh. You did draw a big card. And I got the wonderful boy himself, Robin Hood. Mm. <laughs> what a fox. And what a because fox. I hadn't had to pay for the song, it meant I had enough ink to get him out straight away. Oh. And, and he's he's really good because not mm. only does he have like really good strength and will, but yep. he's like four lore. Yeah. I haven't seen a card that generates that much lore. I before. know. That's, and like that could just, you know, win he's the game. questing legend. Yeah. I mean, he is Robin Hood. Yeah, mm. it makes sense. Stealing lore from the room. <laughs> 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 Giving it to me. <laughs> Okay, so how much lore can I get this time? Mm. I'm going to risk it all. Think about she's questing. Mm -hmm. Getting one. Getting one. Can't then, use Robin Hood just yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get three more from these. All right. And seventeen. And seventeen to six. It. But Robin Hood, he might be a great outlaw, but it's not enough. There's something that even Robin Hood can't deal with. And it was finally time. We drew, we got our ink, nine ink. <laughs> finally! We spend it all. <laughs> and that shadow that had, had come by earlier, breathing dragon fire down. Roots back in. Maleficent, the monstrous dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and as part of a rule, when you play this character, you may banish a chosen character. Poor Robin Hood. Is no. Robin Hood going up in flames? I think he has to because Stitch is warded, but also four. I mean, I don't think I can really stop you. Just stepped out of the just forest. He stepped out of the forest. <laughs> Ooh, dally day. <laughs> uh, as Maleficent scorches to summon her briars. Wow. Um, and she's so strong. Oh, seven. seven strength. And so we sent Robin Hood scouring oh. into the woods. Finish that tale. <laughs> He tried to shoot arrows at us, but we don't have any of that. Just, Burn the arrows. No, nope, doesn't do anything. But like any good heroic Disney story, mm -hmm. as much as the villain turned up, it wasn't quite going to be enough. Maleficent turned up way too late. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Like, hey guys, like, oh no, oh, it's the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you've almost finished this game. It's um, just left for us to quest. Get yeah. that. And you're what your hero, the true hero of the the, the movie. Just Stitch went on his own little solo quest. <laughs> <laughs> He's just this little goblin in the trees, scooping up treasure, <laughs> being a maniac. <laughs> He's, he's pulled in like a, six lore on his own. A massive dragon and he's just there digging in the dirt, just like, oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> Two lore? Okay. Stitch and Peter Pan are causing too much trouble <laughs> in Neverland. Gruesome twosome. Yeah. There's one lore from Neverland immediately. Yeah. And, and all you uh, need to do. You have to draw your card. You're just two lore away from victory now. I'll draw the card. Ah, ink. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I quest with Stitch. Just with Stitch alone, <laughs> and that is going to take you to 20 lore. Well done. A very good game, Briny. Very well done. Well played. What a good game. It was so much fun. It really is a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a very cool game. So well designed. Everything kind of works together in a really cool way. Um, and yeah, like just, yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe we went a bit mad with power. How can you not? If you if you get a dragon, you have to play a dragon. Don't, I don't make the rules. <laughs> you, you get, you got, we got to play the dragon. We've got to play the dragon. We gotta play Maleficent. So so cool. Uh, but yeah, excellent stuff. Maybe maybe after all, you shouldn't have listened to Ben and shouldn't have played that Jolly Roger on turn one. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what it was. Maybe I can. Blame well, we could have used all. it for ink instead. 
Yeah, maybe, and then we would have had enough earlier. <laughs> ben! <laughs> it's like my little sidekick in a Disney movie. I'm the villain and he's the like, but master, <laughs> are you a fool? <laughs> but, Why wouldn't you buy the boat? <laughs> <laughs> but after, after all that, we think we've got you by giving you that legendary card in the first place. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the dragon trap. Yeah. With yeah. the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have played very differently if we weren't constantly trying to save Dragon madness. Because we could have just turned Maleficent into ink and just could've played done. other stuff, but. Mm -hmm. Could have got more ducks out. Yeah. More you ducks. Got dragon madness. <laughs> I got dragon madness. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. But hey, every good villain needs a good hero. We got one. You're well a done to Brian. Hero. Yeah. Well done. Hooray. Thank you for your coaching. Puppies win. <laughs> Puppies win. <laughs> and Stitch. Yeah. Honorary puppy Stitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's just chasing him around the garden now. Yeah. He's kind of a space puppy, isn't he? Well, there you go. That was some Disney Lorcana. Mm. I, I really enjoyed it. It's really fun. You can check it out. It's available now. The newest expansion into the Ink Man. It's available. There's a link in the description. Thank yeah. you, Ben. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you, Bryony. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Thanks. And we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.